Have you ever wanted to create text animations that are not just visually striking but also convey a sense of energy and modernity? Today, I'm going to show you how to design and animate a dynamic kinetic typography effect using Adobe After Effects. Imagine a bold letter A coming to life on your screen, overlapping, distorted and infused with a glitch-like aesthetic. The black and white abstract design creates visual tension with parts of the letter layered and partially obscured. The stark contrast between the black background and the bold white text adds drama resulting in a dynamic and fragmented composition. This modern, experimental look is perfect for conveying energy and disruption in branding or digital art. Excited to dive in? Let's get started. First things first, we'll set up our composition. Let's name it Kinetic Typography. We'll set the width and height to 1080 by 1080 pixels, set the frame rate to 30 frames per second and the duration to 10 seconds. Once you've got those settings, click OK. Now, let's bring in our main character, the letter A. Select the Type tool and click in the center of your composition. Type the letter A and choose a bold font to make it stand out. Increase the font size so it fills up most of the composition, ensuring it's the focal point of our visual. Center it both horizontally and vertically within the frame. Next, we'll add an adjustment layer. Think of this as a transparent overlay that lets us apply effects to all the layers beneath it without altering them directly. Right-click in the Timeline panel, select New, and then Adjustment Layer. With this layer, we are set to create some magic. Now, onto the exciting part, the Displacement Map Effect. If you are new to After Effects, you might be wondering, what exactly is a displacement map? Imagine your text is like a calm lake, and the displacement map is a stone you throw into it, causing ripples. These ripples distort the reflection, just as the displacement map distorts our text. With the Adjustment Layer selected, go to Effect Distort Displacement Map. In the Effect Controls, you'll see options like Displacement Map Layer, Use for Horizontal Displacement, and Max Horizontal Displacement. We'll fine-tune these settings in a bit. To create our displacement map, the stone causing the ripples, we'll make a new solid layer. Right-click in the Timeline panel, choose New, and then Solid. Name it DM underscore Solid. Set the width to 100 pixels and the height to 1080 pixels, so it spans the height of our composition. With DM underscore Solid selected, go to Effect Generate Gradient Ramp. This will serve as our brightness map. Adjust the start of ramp and end of ramp points to create a horizontal gradient from black to white across the solid. Essentially, we're crafting a grayscale image where the brightness values will dictate how our text distorts. To extend this gradient across the entire composition, we'll use the Motion Tile effect. With DM underscore Solid still selected, go to Effect Stylize Motion Tile. This effect mirrors and tiles our gradient creating a seamless pattern that fills the screen. In the effect controls for motion tile, increase the output width until the gradient fills the composition. This setup is great for creating looping backgrounds or expanding elements into larger designs. Now, let's bring this gradient to life. We'll animate the tile center to make the gradient move across the screen, which in turn will animate the distortion of our text. Set a keyframe for tile center at the beginning of the timeline, with a value of 0, 540. Move to the end of the timeline and change the tile center value to 3540. This creates a smooth horizontal movement over the duration of the composition. It's like watching clouds drift across the sky, subtly changing the light and shadow on the landscape below. To keep things organized and ensure our effects work correctly, we'll precompose our solid. Right click on the solid layer in the timeline, select Precompose, name this new composition Displacement Map and choose Move all attributes into the new composition, and click OK. Precomposing wraps all the adjustments we've made into a single layer, making it cleaner and easier to manage. You can now hide the Displacement Map layer, since we don't need to see it. We just need it to influence our text through the Displacement effect. Return to the Adjustment layer, and in the Displacement Map effect controls, set the Displacement Map layer to our precomp, and change the Use for Horizontal Displacement to Luminance, which means it will use the brightness values of our gradient. Set the max horizontal displacement to 40, ensuring the distortion is noticeable, but not overwhelming. Set use for vertical displacement to off, since we only want horizontal movement. Now for the moment of truth, preview your composition by pressing the spacebar. You should see the letter A subtly distorting horizontally, creating that glitch-like effect we described earlier. The movement adds energy and a modern touch to the otherwise static text. And there you have it a dynamic kinetic typography animation that brings your text to life with energy and style. 
you've learned how to use displacement maps, adjustment layers, and keyframe animations to create a captivating effect. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to dive deeper, check out my other kinetic type videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. And don't forget, I'd love to see what you create, so feel free to share your animations on social media and tag me. I might even feature your work in a future video. Keep experimenting, keep creating, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, a great life, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.